not one, yes to, coming again, at you with another video. Hit that like button, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for everybody. Literally every five, 10 minutes, I'm getting more and more comments, whether they're negative or positive. I greatly appreciate it. I greatly appreciate everyone's feedback. Everyone is titled to their own opinion. Thank you so much. Now, this video is for the fellas, not the ones that are already married, but the ones that are in uh, serious relationships and feel like they have to marry a woman. They have to take it to that next level and they have to take that step. I want to let you fellas know that the same benefits you are getting now will be the same benefits you get after you marry her. There is no difference. Do not let a woman make you feel like you have to marry her. You have to sign that contract. The thing is, it's it's stupid. You have to be stupid. You look, you, you're a simp and you're a goofy if you are marrying a woman because she wants to. Now, if you're doing it because you want to, that's that's your opinion. I can't judge you as a man on that. That's your choice. That's your decision. I'm speaking to the men who feel like they have to marry a woman because they've been with her for multiple years and they have kids together or they want to have kids and because that's tradition. And because her, your parents are, your dad's pressuring you or your parents are pressuring you or her parents or family members or friends are pressuring you. You don't have to do it. If she's going to leave you because you won't marry her, then let her leave. Let her go. There's a better woman out there for you that will love you, accept you, give you King's treatment and be with you for an eternity without a stupid piece of paper, without a contract that does not benefit you. You hear what I said? When you get married as a man, you sign that contract and the contract does not benefit you. Now, don't get it twisted. Most of these dudes are not having women sign prenups. Don't believe what these dudes on social media and on YouTube are telling you. The average Joe Schmo, even if he's making 80 grand, 90 grand a year, he is not more than likely not having his woman sign a prenup. I am telling you for a fact. Do not let these dudes fool you at all. When you get down on one knee, you are looking up to her and you are asking for her to accept your hand in marriage. That is the most simp, most vulnerable uh, place you could put yourself in as a man. And I don't want to get down on one knee and look up to anybody unless it's God. I don't look up to no human being, no person at all. I look up to God only. And that is the uh, most vulnerable situation you could put a man in because if she says no, it can crush her. Men get crushed just by women telling them, no, I won't go out on a date with you. Or no, you can't get my phone number. No, I'm not interested. Men get crushed by that. So imagine you, you getting down on one knee, swallowing your pride, hoping she says yes and she says no. Oh my goodness, that 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 can kill some men. That really can kill some men. And again, you are signing a contract does not benefit that does not benefit you. See, most women they don't care about marriage. They don't care about what comes with it. They don't care really care about the vows. They care about the wedding. They care about the pictures, the the photos, the makeup, their hair all done up, looking all pretty, their friends and family being there smiling, cheering them on. Walking down that aisle, the honeymoon after. That's all they really care about. They don't care about what really comes into a marriage. You know why they don't care about what comes into a marriage? Because they think they're supposed to be happy. Happily ever after is the, the, the biggest, boldest lie. It is a horrible statement that when you get married, you are happily ever after. If that's the case, why are so many couples in divorce court? Why are so many men giving up their hard-earned money? Stuff they worked for and, and uh, they built before the woman even came into the picture. There's no happily ever after. Marriage is not based on happiness. And a lot of women get that messed up. That's why they divorce men. Oh, I'm not happy, so I don't want to be with you anymore. It's not It's not going to be happy. It's going to be rough. It's going to be ups and downs. Marriage is not about always smiling and giggly, giggly, happily. There are tough times. You have to be stern with your kids. You have to be stern with your finances. You have to be stern with what you put into your body. You have to be stern with standing your ground when you tell your wife, no, don't do this, please. Or you tell your husband, that doesn't make me feel good. Please don't do that anymore. Forget your happiness because that's not what it's about. Even in long-term relationships when you're just boyfriend and girlfriend, it's not always about happiness. It's about bettering each other. It's about bettering your circumstances as a couple. Working towards a goal together. You're not doing it by yourself anymore. So many dudes say, oh, I, I'm fine by myself. I don't need a woman. I don't need I don't need a woman. I could do it all. I could take care of myself. I could cook and clean for myself. Fine. Good for you. But there are plenty of men out here that appreciate a woman willing to serve King's treatment and a woman willing to support their goal. So if that's how you feel, do not comment. Get out of my comment section. Leave my videos. Do not do not subscribe.
okay? I am trying to let the youth know that there is no benefit from them being married, especially if you look at the men that came before you, especially if you look at the mentality of these women nowadays. And not all women think think the way most of these uh, modern women think and these 304s think. The only person I've seen uh, propose the right way was Gucci Mane. And I don't even like celebrities. If you haven't seen it, go check out Gucci Mane at the basketball, how he proposed to his wife. That's how you do it. And you're not supposed to get down on no one knee. And again, this is for men who, this is this is what you want to do, not because your woman is pressuring you. Unless she's a traditional woman, like I'm talking about the ones with the Habib, with the Habib rap. Unless she's that type of woman, you should not feel obligated to marry her. At all. Again, the same benefits you're getting now will be the same benefits you get after. And sometimes you marry a woman and she gives you her behind the kiss. She starts showing her true colors because she knows she got you. She knows you, you didn't make her sign a prenup. And she knows that now you're married to her. So now she has say so over your finances. She has say so over what she, what she feels you shouldn't and shouldn't be doing as a man. Because you're married now. Because you took vows. A lot of times... Relationships change for the worse when couples get married. Couples be together for 10, 15 years. They get married and they get a divorce. Because what are you really doing it for? As a man, ask yourself, if you plan on marrying a woman, what are you really doing it for? And if it's because, oh, I want to see her walk down the aisle and, oh, oh, I want, I want to see all her friends and family happy and supportive, then you, you're a female. You shouldn't even be with a woman. That's, that's sentimentality because men don't think that way. Men don't want to do anything that doesn't benefit them unless it's for their kids. We have to learn as men that tradition and the way things are supposed to be don't always apply to you in your life, may not always work for you in your life. Getting married and having kids may not be the best for you. It may stress you out. You may get gray hairs, go bald early. You may have been better off just being single and dating and having a long-term girlfriend. Being married is not for everybody. Being married can break you down as a man. You can lose yourself as a man because you're putting so much into her. You're putting so much into her happiness. And to making sure that she's happy so she can make you happy. That's not how it works. A woman has to make you happy because that's something she wants to do and something she enjoys doing. You ever you ever see a clip or hear about those women that talk about they get off by uh, giving a, another man head or pleasing their man? Well, there are women that get off just by serving you and seeing you enjoy their food. Seeing you happy. It's time for men's happiness, man. Men's are the, men are the one out there working hard. Think about the construction workers. Breaking their backs. Think about the people involved in masonry. Not masons, but people involved in masonry. Built, you know, building buildings brick by brick. What about their happiness? They're working hard all day, every day. Don't they deserve happiness? So you mean to tell me those dudes got to go out there, work hard, break their backs, and come home and try to please their woman too? Make sure she, that she's happy? No, that's not how it's supposed to work. A man should go out, work hard, go to the gym, whatever he's doing, come back to a clean house. His woman's been working from home. She's been on that laptop working from home, and she done posted on her YouTube channel already. The kids have taken their baths. Homework, it's time for dinner and time to talk about how your day was and then go to bed, do it all over the next day. That's that's a happy life. Not you going out working as a construction worker or whatever hard labor job you're doing and your, your woman's some boss chick at, a, at an office or thinks she's some boss chick taking answers, taking orders from another man besides you. Then she's coming home after you or before you and you both scrambling and scraping, trying to shower, get clean up, get the kids together, make sure their homework was done, ask them how school was, sign sign permission slips so they go to school, blah, 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 all this other stuff. Or they got to tell you how they got bullied at school or how they're promoting this, this suspect agenda at school. You lose so much peace. You lose so much control. From your life when you marry a woman because that's what she wants you to do. So again, 
For you young dudes in long-term relationships, everything's going good, but she's pressuring you to marry her, or you feel like, oh, man, I should put a ring on this. It's about time I put a ring on it. Ask yourself why. Ask yourself, what do you get out of doing that? How does it benefit you? That's, that's, the, only, that's the only conversation I want to have. That's it, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Again, comment down below, share this video, and hit that like button. Peace and love.